What is up guys, K-Man Mining here. Hope everyone is well and having a good day. Just wanted to recap you guys on a situation that we had down here in the Caveman Garage. As you can see, I'm holding the breakout board that was totally fried, melted, burnt, whatever you wanna call it. So bad that the PCIe uh, cable got fused with the connector there. I wanted to spend a little bit of time just talking about the kind of the cautions, if you will, with GPU mining. So when it comes to GPU mining, you will potentially be dealing with a lot of power, a lot of electricity based upon uh, your setup. So things that you need to consider are components, making sure that you don't max out the capacity on those components and those pieces of hardware. So when it comes to GPU mining, you have a few things such as PCIe cables, server uh, power supplies, ATX power supplies, breakout boards, risers that go into your PCIe slots on the motherboard, as well as your PCIe connectors into the graphics cards themselves. So I wanna preface that, uh, make sure when it comes to mining, no matter what from your electrical source which you can see is the 240 volt uh, power plugs that run all the way across over through the refrigerator into our pdus now when it comes to this pdu we have uh, two sections 15 amps a piece now you can see that we are pulling 11 amps on this bank down below here with a couple plugs. And we are pulling six amps on this uh, section here. So we are well within the 80% rule of our power when it comes to uh, our PDU, which stands for power distribution unit, by the way. And uh, you just also have to factor that in terms of wattage from each of your car. Uh, you have to look at the TDP, which is the max power draw to each of your cards. So that's something you have to consider. Maybe one of these cards has a TDP of 170 watts. Uh, so you need to be sure that uh, your cable setup and your input into your power uh, connectors can handle each of those, I would say, individual strands of, uh, of power. Now, when it comes to components, again, this is a uh, breakout board so essentially what that does is that connects into uh, your power supply which you can see we've got a breakout board uh, up here and all of our PCI connectors so uh, the you can imagine the power supply just simply connects in so the power supplies that I have vary from brands I've got uh, a few Dell uh, HP uh, 1200 watt ranging from 1400 watt all the way up to the big boys which I haven't got I need to get specific breakout boards and I'm hoping to upgrade all my rigs to these which are the nice 1600 watts a piece uh, but finding a specialty breakout board because they don't take this uh, traditional uh, breakout board but that being said you know you do need to factor in the safety and security and making sure when you buy something like a breakout board uh, that you know you buy it from a reputable source right you don't want to uh, just go cheap unfortunately uh, my situation i had a breakout board from parallel miners a nice one that had uh, kind of worn itself out didn't short it didn't catch on fire uh, just just simply didn't work um, then I bought this to get overnight shipping because that that's what was attractive to me and I think this thing cost about 13 US dollars 14 so right out the gate you can see the price point was pretty cheap on that uh, and I was eager to get my setup back up and running don't let the anxiety of you know being down a day or two um, you know deter you from buying I would say you know good or good quality components versus something that's cheap um, but that was quite a scare guys i'm glad you know the situation turned out not to be um, you know a disaster you know there was no real fire this is fine i'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently and, and i would say from a safety 
uh, protocol. You can see we have our fire extinguisher handy here. If there was something to ever happen, uh, make sure, you know, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here, guys, but, you know, make sure you've got smoke detectors in the areas close or nearby. I would say definitely in the rooms that you have your mining equipment, just in case, you know, for that slight chance where something were to happen, it could pick up on that. The good thing with my home is all of the uh, smoke detectors are uh, connected uh, via, you know, inline connection with each other. So I've got three floors. If this one was to sound, the whole house would go off. It would sound ridiculously loud. I have a newer build house, so actually, you know, with, with newer build houses, sometimes dust gets in them. And we've had like rogue fire alarms going off. And obviously when that happens, it's like two, three in the morning. And, I'm, you know, we wake up and, uh, you know, my heart's pounding. First thing I do is I run down to the garage thinking, oh no, you know, something's happened. And, you know, first thing you do is, you know, senses, right? So smell. Uh, and, and so when uh, this happened, the fire alarm did not sound. My Hive OS app, rather, alerted me that the rig was down. I was home because it was Black Friday, and uh, I went down, and the first thing when I opened that door there is I did a little sniff test, and I could smell what smelled like really bad burnt plastic. As you hear about crypto, and you might hear about GPU mining, and this stuff coming back, you know, consider your safety, consider your quality of your setup. At the end of the day, right, you spend big money on your setup and equipment. All, anything is insured, uh, you know, mining rigs could be replaced. In the worst case, the cards burn up, something gets shorted, no big deal. Nobody got hurt, right? You know, you're risking, you know, people at the end of the day when you don't have uh, a safe setup, right? So I'm here, my family's here, and that's the first thing I think about when uh, you know, considering safety when mining. It's more of a PSA, more of an educational video, if you will. What I do want to get into is letting you guys know that we are back up here in mining, just sort of a, a, a conclusion update, right? We are going to be still expanding in this garage. The bull market is upon us, I believe. Altcoins are up, Bitcoin's been up. Uh, GPU mining is starting to become profitable again. So this is all good stuff. I do have some ASICs coming in, so we'll do some content on that. I'll let you know what those are when I get them. We are in a good situation of having, I would say, expandable power. We have a little bit more, I would say, cushion on some of the PDUs here. And we do have another PDU here that is a 20 amp. Uh, I wanna ask you guys out there in the comments, really, what do you think I can do with this uh, HP uh, ProLiant server. It's got a crazy amount of storage here and I think this one's got like a 20 core uh, processor and a ridiculous amount of RAM. So HP ProLiant DL360 Gen 9, that's what I'm reading. So guys, let me know in the comments, do you think I should build the NAS? Do you think I should build some nodes with this? What, what could, uh, I guess, what could I create with this that could essentially generate revenue or do something helpful. All that to say, guys, I'm gonna cut the video here. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, I'm glad I could catch you with an update. And stay tuned, you know, the bull market is here and I'm ready to start making some more content. Thank you guys as always. If you liked the video, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.